hey guys welcome to another video uh, in this video as you can see the tab open here i want to talk about the animations in tailwind css but not the uh, default animations of tailwind which we have uh, about four to five utility classes for that animation animate none animate spin animate ping animate pulse and animate bounce we are not going to discuss this one they are already uh, inside the Tailwind CSS documentation and you can use them as directed here uh, so uh, we are going to talk about uh, custom animations how to add custom animations in Tailwind CSS like the one uh, you can see uh, here on this design this is a previous design we designed in the previous video uh, just look at this animation when i hover it just two opposite animations are added on these two cards so we will uh, go and design and two new animations add them to the tailwind utility uh, bundles and then use them so let's get into it so here is our design with no animation uh, you can see here let me refresh it and check no animation is added yet we will add an animation the first animation will be translate right let the, the front card should uh, move to the uh, right ten, about 10 pixel and come back and and the second animation will be translate left the card on the back should move to the left and then and it's placed and should so uh, let's go and start adding our animation you'll find a file called tailwind.config.js in your uh, installation file of tailwind css installation folder and that is inside that you'll find a, a an, an object called extend which will allow you allow you to extend functionality and ability to your tailwind css uh, framework first of all we know that uh, animations can be made uh, by uh, using keyframes so here also we will add some keyframes and then we will extend them to the animations of tailwind css for the first so let's say let's define keyframes and for that again it will be an object and i'll give a name for our keyframe let's say trans right this is the name of the keyframe and it should be also an object inside that we will just use let's say the uh, uh, per percentage of the timing or the duration let's say if you want 1.5 second of uh, for our whole animation then we will add here a zero percent and 50 percent and on 100 percent animation so for zero percent to 100 percent our object should move and I will use the transform property of CSS transform and let's say translate X about 10 pixel and if it is on the 50% of the timing that we will give in our animation section it should uh, be it should come back to its own position and i let the translate x zero and that's it we have defined our keyframes now it is time to just extend this keyframes to our to our uh, let's say telling css now this is the keyframes braces and after that i'll just add another section called animation and inside the animation section we'll have to um, name again let's say trans right trans right this will be the name that we will use as a uh, utility class trans right and inside that i'll use the trans right keyframe uh, let's say for 1.5 second and is and out is in and out and for as and just infinite infinite times let's save it and check if it works 
for the first image image on the front I will just use this animation animate trans right you can see that we have the name here let's save and check refresh it as you can see we got the animation here I just want this animation on hover so I'll use the hover um, utility of Tableau CSS and on hover not uh, while hovering on this image but while hovering on the whole this uh, div uh, which is the parent div of these two images let me give it a background color bg red 500 okay when i hover on this whole div uh, the animation should run so i'll just give it already given the group class for the parent and the group hover class for the child one let's save and check what we get so when i hover in the box yeah we get the animation that's cool and same process for the second one uh, so I'll just give a comma here and uh, let's say trans left add another transition animation and again the same uh, process but for this one let me first clarify that for the second image we have a transform property called rotate already here so we have to take care because uh, two transform cannot be applied on one take so we have to cons consider this and add this also inside this keyframes so let me copy all this one from here paste it inside this uh, let's say if we want to translate x to 10 pixel no 10 pixel just uh, minus 10 pixel and again to 0 at the same time it should have a rotate of 12 degree as well because we have rotate 12 there and the same thing should be mentioned for the 50% as well let's save it and check what we get trans left and we have to define it here as well trans left you don't need to give a uh, same name to the keyframes and animations but uh, i just got the same thing trans left for let's say 1.5 second uh, is in and out you can use other animation methods and for the infinite times now let's see what we get here if i use it for the second image uh, again on hover of the parent group hover and animate uh, trans left we have the name here. let's save it and check what we get as you can see let me show you if you don't use the rotate uh, we will get something else remove this rotate and this rotate let's save and check yeah you can see the design is changed so be careful about the uh, multi uh, transforms on a single take uh, that's it for this video hope you understand something uh, kindly like subscribe and share thank you